Thank you so much for this, Virginia. Um, so our first presenter will be Rayola, uh, sorry, Rayola Chalabay, um on classroom icebreakers. Thank you, Rayola. Morning. So the icebreaker is actually something you don't have to do, right? So this is just some, an idea for in the classroom, your first day. Um, this icebreaker is kind of building off what Carlos just mentioned about labels and stereotyping. I work in the Allied Health Radiology program and we have students that are working with patients and we always tell them, be careful to stereotype with your patients and that's one way uh, I, brought, I thought about this icebreaker for the classroom because you tend to look at somebody and start formulating an opinion about them and I thought, why not use this opportunity for an icebreaker? You could do this multiple ways. I've tried it multiple ways. Uh, one was I could I pair them up in groups, uh, in couples, and I would say, okay, what do you think about this person? Uh, but it kind of got confusing because then they asked me, who am I paired with, who am I paired with? So that kind of didn't work so well. Maybe you come up with a better solution to that. This last semester, I had them come to class and not say a word to each other. So they had to be silent. I had, I had arranged the, uh, the chairs in a circle, and then I asked them to jot down a few things about the person across from them in the circle. You could choose to just have them write down whatever they thought, or you could have it more um, uh, formal or constructive, where you could have them answer certain questions like, what do you think the person across from you, what do you think their favorite fast food is? What do you think their favorite food is? Where do you think they are from? What do you think if, uh, their first language is? Anything you want. Or you could even ask in a conjunction with those questions, anything else you want to write about that person. The feedback, as you can guess, is very positive. Nobody has anything negative to say about the person across from them, which is great. However, uh, the other end of this is that the person, they, after everybody has jotted down all the information they have, they go around the circle and they start sharing this. Oh, I thought this person likes X Thai food. Oh, I thought this person, they're from Africa. I think their first language is English. That's great. But then you give the person a chance to answer. Yes, my first language is English. No, I'm not from Africa. I'm from Dominican Republic. Right? Then that way it sticks with the, with the students. They start to figure out what they have in common, what they don't have in common. And I'm sometimes in that circle, sometimes there's somebody that's not here, and they find it interesting when I tell them, no, I'm not from India, I'm from South Africa. So that's, that's already breaking on a stereotype because they've already thought I was from Guyana, Trinidad, or India, right? So, so uh, they found this to be very helpful. Uh, the same for me uh, it works because it works in the first semester, but then I have students that follow me through the two year program, and at the end of it, I do a different version of this. I have them write down stuff about themselves, and I put it in a hat. I read it out. This person said three things. Who do you think this was? And by that time, they know a lot about each other, so they say, Oh, this was so and so. So, um, do you have any questions about this activity? They actually for bad assumptions. Yes. So they actually very quick to say, Oh, I thought this because of that. So they sometimes do it themselves. They will say, I thought that person's favorite color was blue because they're wearing a blue t shirt. Or I thought they are their favorite food might be uh, whatever it is. Sometimes they answer, but sometimes we I ask them, what do you think of this? And then we talk about you see why stereotyping is not always correct. Because sometimes they are positive and sometimes there's negative to this. So kind of the discussion part becomes very interesting because then they learn about certain biases that they might have or certain thoughts that they might have. 